All right, Rhino digging up a little blue oyster cult. Of course, when you hear that tune, you can't help but think about the infamous uh, Saturday Night Live, a spoof on that with uh, Will Ferrell and Christopher Walken. I need more uh, so, cowbell. <laughs> I need more cowbell. So, so excellent. Joining us now in the Element Well Studios from the Mississippi Trade Mart is Kel Smith, the Executive Director of the Mississippi Community College Board. Good to see you again, Kel. It's a great day today with all these youngsters uh, competing in the construction uh, skills competition. And gosh, what about this, uh, this brand new program that Representative Ford uh, spearheaded that is recognizing these students for something other than athletics, but kind of done in that same vein to, to appreciate and recognize that they're going on to further their education here. Yeah, what what an absolute great effort this morning by Representative Ford. Uh, you know, we're so used here, used to here in the South to celebrate, like you said, the student athletes that are going to sign Division One football scholarships. Well, today was an awesome opportunity to celebrate those who have chosen to take a career path that will lead them to uh, a, a great job, a great career, good family sustaining wages that we hear all about and yeah so just hopefully we can build on it uh in the years to come i think we had probably 15 to 20 folks today sign their letters of intent to continue their Isn't that awesome? education wonderful wonderful that's so cool I, I'm, I'm so impressed with that and i and i told representative ford that and who happens to be my rep as well i, I it never occurred to me but what a great idea yeah I, where have we been all these years not not doing something like that? that's exactly right if we can somehow figure out that silver bullet to package the career and technical options that are available here in 2023. It's not the old welding and Votech, the, right. the, the, the stereotype from the 50s, 60s, and 70s. I mean, these are high skill, high demand jobs. Just walking through the trade mart and seeing uh, the students putting together uh, buildings and HVAC you know, machines is incredibly impressive to me. And, and something I uh, would like to pass on to you and, uh, and our audience as well is the number of texts I get here on our ceasefire text line from individuals in Mississippi that uh, discuss their livelihoods in in these these various occupations, these various uh, trade jobs, and they'll they're kind enough to share the sort of income they're able to produce on that as well, and and I, it should be eye opening to to any student, anyone that's at that level trying to figure out, gee, what want, what's my passion? What do I want to be and do in life? Um, these are not jobs that are on the low end of the income scale by you're, any stretch. You're exactly right. We used to say that these type jobs are the two-car, one-boat job. You know, they, they can they can put you in a position to earn a high wage for the as long as you want to. Absolutely. As quickly as you want to as well. And it you know. doesn't appear to be any shortage of demand for their skills and services, even in, in uh, rather lean economic times. You know, what a lot of folks maybe do is convert from maybe it, going from say new construction when, when that's down a bit they start doing things in their existing properties and there's demand for those skills to do that that's exactly right you know at the time of year we're in in mississippi summer's about to kick the door down and good luck in a few months finding an hvac that's technician that can come and, and repair your uh, air conditioner in a, in a timely manner and i don't know if anyone's had the experiences i have and you know my home is at the point where i had to do some replacement of, of hvac it's just just normal uh, maturation of of the of the gear they're fairly complex uh, systems these days, which is cool. I mean, they're all digital, and, and you, it's just amazing that you've got these HVAC guys and stop installing wireless access points, yeah. you know, around the units up in my attic, and it's, it's pretty neat. It's unbelievable. Yeah. You know, and, and today's event and yesterday's event as well, such a great collaborative effort between business and industry, all, all the vendors inside that have donated their time, their equipment, uh, the, the post-secondary institutions, the secondary institutions. This is a great example, y'all coming out to spotlight all the work you know of all of us coming together to to try to put an emphasis on these jobs that lead to these careers and i know you guys do a great job of this uh in the community colleges and we're going to be at the community university i think later on uh, this month and I, I said it last time when i was there we, we ought to have that across yep. the whole dang state i yep. mean that's the model honestly but you work quite a bit uh do the community colleges with the private sector and try and trying to really use them to guide your curriculum we do we have a division in our office that that 
focus is entirely on curriculum. And so what that means is we'll come in and we'll rewrite or, or create a new curriculum, but we don't do that in a silo. We bring in business and industry because the one thing we want to make sure is that when a student graduates with a career technical degree, that they can enter the job force on day one and not yeah. have to have remediation. And so by us working with business and industry, that hopefully ensures that, that you know, what is being taught at the community college is what's needed at the, at the job site. I just feel like, Kellen, I, I'm quite sure you're totally on board with this view as well, is any time we can get education, private sector, public sector together, all pulling the, the cart in the same direction, good things happen. You're exactly right about that, Gerard. Appreciate you coming on. Great work here. Uh, uh, great organization, the uh, Construction Education Foundation. and. So proud of all these youngsters. Thanks, 